But we begin with breaking news out of New Bedford tonight. Not all public schools will reopen Thursday after the storm. Here's what you need to know. Campbell, Jacobs, Taylor and Winslow schools will stay closed because of power outages. Essential staff at those schools still have to report to work. Otherwise, the other public schools and administrative offices in the Whaling City will be back open. Power issues tonight throughout southern New England. Thousands of Rhode Islanders remain in the dark as crews continue working to restore power. Good evening, I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggy. If you're driving around, you'll notice traffic lights are out. Some neighborhoods are pitch black and street lights are out too. 12 News reporter Sheena Loschuto drove around the state to see how the cleanup's going. And she came across a business that actually opened up just in time for dinner after losing business earlier in the day. Sheena is in Warwick now with the update. Well, right now we're on Warwick Ave, pretty close to the airport here in Warwick. And good news, we're actually finally seeing some of the lights turn back on over here for much of the day. Almost everyone was in the dark over here. Power crews working to restore power Wednesday night. The lights they brought are some of the only ones you'll see in this part of the city. Some neighborhoods here in Warwick are pitch black. Warwick's mayor is warning residents in some spots the power will likely be out until at least Thursday. Over in North Kingstown, Stony Lane is still impassable in one section. There is a downed tree hanging over wires blocking the road. One of many impacts captured in South County. My main concern is we have big coolers and freezers here, so it's just breaking down the little units, putting them in there. Roy Ring, one of the owners of the carriage inn, says he initially planned to stay closed Wednesday, but got power back much earlier than expected. He opened a few hours later than usual, just in time for dinner. Some people don't have power, so it's kind of like a responsibility to the community and our staff. They need. The, you know, the work Christmas holidays are coming. So like I said, I'd rather almost shut down if I could, but take the day off, you know, yeah. but the staff needs it. Ring admits staying closed would have been easier. He feels for the other businesses still impacted by the storm, especially during an already difficult time for the industry. You're, you're at Mother Nature's mercy, so it's, it's kind of like, well, she'll tell you when you're going to open. And really, we saw some incredible images all day long, all over the state, huge uprooted trees and down wires everywhere. Now, National Grid officials say if you do come across a down wire, never go near it. We'll show you how you can report something like that on our website, WPRI.com. Reporting in Warwick, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.